reelsandmachines.com. Welcome back, viewers. In this video, we're going to talk about what pump I'm using to power my NFT system. One of the previous NFT videos had a request on how the water gets from the reservoir to the top, so here I am to go over the finer details of it. There's a few components to the mechanism here, and I'll put all the product links in the description of this video below. First, let's talk about where the nutrients housed in this 15 gallon reservoir in the bottom. There's several holes in the lid drilled here, some for the return lines and some for the supply lines. Now let's go talk about the pump. The pump I bought from the internet, it is electric powered, so you have to plug it into an outlet. I believe the specs, this one is a 660 gallons per hour pump, and it has 8.2 feet of head. For those not familiar with the term pump head, it refers to the height that the pump can propel a column of water to. 8.2 feet is a lot higher than where the height of the channels are, so this pump is considered oversized. But given that these little aquarium pumps consume such a little electricity, it doesn't really matter too much. This pump I bought has a 3 quarter inch NPT outlet as an adapter. I replaced this with one of those sprinkler head adapters, and on top of that, I put a four-way splitter. Now this splitter does have a filter on it, and it does catch algae every so often. So if you notice that there's no flow going up to the top of the channel, you may have to unscrew the splitter from the pump to clear out the algae. Now from the pump to the top of the channels, I've got quarter-inch drip lines running from the splitter up to the top. And at the top where it meets the channels, I've got quarter-inch valves which I can restrict the flow of water to. This is useful if I want to clean out a channel, or series of channels, or other system maintenance. So there's some insight onto how this garden works. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. If you're interested in purchasing any of the products, check the links below in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to Greens and Machines if you want to learn more about this garden, and leave a comment below if you have any more questions regarding this system.